In this video, we will be going over the Auditory Feedback Tools module within VisiPitch. When you first open the program, this is the window you will see. The first tool you can use is called Pacer. This tool acts much like a metronome through the use of a clicking sound in the headphones or speaker. This can be adjusted from 50 to 150 beats per minute. To start playing the sound or stop it, simply press the spacebar. As you can hear, the sound is playing in the background at 75 beats per minute, and as I increase the BPM, the rate at which it clicks increases. Likewise, as I decrease the BPM, the rate at which it clicks decreases. To stop, press the spacebar. The next tool is called Delayed Auditory Feedback. This applies the delay to the incoming speech signal and plays it back through the audio output. This can be delayed uh, between 150 and 500 milliseconds. Let's try a delay of 450 microseconds. To begin, press the spacebar. Hello. 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 As you can hear, the audio output is heavily delayed from the speech signal. Now let's try a smaller delay in which the audio signal will play much quicker. Let's do 200. Hello. 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 And as you can hear, the delay there is much smaller. The delayed auditory feedback, looping, and time warping tools all record a signal when you press start. The signal can then be copied to the clipboard using the copy signal section or control C and then pasted into a different module such as the waveform editor. The looping section is used to record a speech sample and play it back immediately. The amount of time you can record for is between 5 and 30 seconds and this can be changed in the record data link section at the bottom of the auditory feedback tools module. Let's start by recording a 10 second sample. Hello, hello, testing, testing, one, two, three. Hello, hello, testing, testing, one, two, three. Now to play that back, you can press enter. Hello, hello, testing, testing, one, two, three. And to stop hello. it, press enter again. Please note that when you set the recorded data length to a certain time, let's say five seconds, if you record for over five seconds, the program will begin to overwrite your previous recording. So if you want to record for 10 seconds, please set it to 10 seconds. Do not set it to five and record for 10 as you will overwrite your original recording. The next tool is called time warping. This tool will allow you to record a speech sample and play it back with a different duration without changing the pitch of the sample. The warping factor can be adjusted from 30 to 300% and a factor below 100% will play the sample faster than the recorded speed, and a factor above 100% will play the sample slower. So first, let's record a sample by pressing the space bar. Hello, one, two, three, hello. Now you can play it back with the enter button. Hello, one, two, three, hello. Now, let's reduce down to 30% so we can play the sample faster and you will be able to hear it. Hello, one, two, three, hello. Hello, one, two, three, hello. And as you can hear, the sample is much, much faster, but the pitch remains the same. Now let's go all the way up to 300 and play the sample again. Hello, one, two, three, hello. And you can hear there that it is much, much slower, but the pitch again remains the same. The next tool is called masking. This tool will play a noise concentrated in the speech frequency bandwidth into the user's headphones. What this will do is mask the speaker's own voice so they cannot hear as they speak. To start playing that sound, just press, press the space bar. And again, to stop it, press the space bar again. As we discussed previously, the record data link section will let you change the amount of time that you will record data for. And again, this can be adjusted from five seconds up to 30 seconds. If at any point you need additional information on any of the tools, press the help menu and uh, instructions for use will pop up.